G'day everyone, it's Justin and Matt, two dads again from, from Australia, coming to you today from a 2018 model year Subaru WRX STI. <laughs> Now, mate, this is something I've been looking forward to. Um, I haven't been in a, a Rexy since probably 2000. You actually owned one back in 2003, an STI? 2003 STI, yeah. Yeah, I same colour as what we're in today too. Same colour, yeah. it brings back memories. Great yeah. colour, yeah. Now, how does this feel getting back into it in 2017? How mate, do you reckon? If, if I shut my eyes, which I obviously won't be doing right now, it feels like my old car. Yeah. It sounds like it. It's got the same feel. It's like I've been time warped back to that same platform. And I open my eyes and it's got a couple of little changes here and there, some mod con upgrades to keep it current to 2017. But the base foundation, the fundamentals, are time warped back to that era yeah it sounds like i mean they haven't messed with the formula have they this no. this thing i mean i've driven it over the last few days and to me the word that comes up is just uncompromising exactly it, as it is was. just something that's just like there's an animal inside it and it just wants to go yeah. um you know i've got to be honest with you up front i think as a daily driver there are some probably better cars around um but you know as as a as a fun performance car high performance car it's it's great isn't it it really is yeah. it is it yeah. always has been and in the right environment this thing is it's pretty much a weapon yeah and it's yeah. enjoyable yeah. it's so short-footed yeah it's, it takes the corners well it uh, delivers the power well yeah um, i think i think we were chatting about it like these days 2017 2018 High performance cars, I think, are very different to what this car is, isn't it? Like, yeah. they've, they've got, got your RS3, for example. You could drive it daily, and it just feels just like a normal A3, doesn't it? Exactly. But, you know, flick a switch, whatever, and it just turns into an animal, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. Exactly. So it's the jack of all trades, yeah. really. Yeah. But this so car, so. this car is very different. This car is a time warp car. This car is an animal all the time. It's got, you know, pretty firm suspension. The noise is there. Um, yeah, it's just one of those cars, I think, you know, for, for guys or mums, I suppose, you know, that used to have one of these or, you know, a similar, maybe a modified car back in the, you know, 90s, 2000s. Mm. This feels just like that, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> yeah. For a standard car, it feels modified. Yeah. You're right, it's so yeah. true. And, and, and I think, you know, if, if you're in that sort of market, if you, if you wanted a time warp, if you're you know, sick of the kids and you want to go back to back to your single days and, and want that sensation, this is probably the best car to get, isn't it? If you've got the, uh, the ability to get away and yeah. take it to a place that you can drive it in its natural environment. Yeah, twisty roads like we're on today. This, yeah, it's, it's just in its element, isn't it? It, it yeah. really is, it yeah. is. But I don't think, like, if this was your only car, Oh boy, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's a bit uncompromising, isn't it? It's so, a little bit too much. Yeah. And I don't think that's just because we're not you know, teenagers anymore. Yeah. I just think that the market's evolved yeah. and there are products out there that do more things well. Yeah. Where this that's does right. one or two things well and the others are yeah, don't on their compromised it. yeah. side. It's not a yeah. focus. Yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing, I think, too. I mean, you know, it's it's what it's designed this is its ethos isn't it this is what it's designed to do and it does it you know it, it's like bugger everything else i'm mm. a high performance car this is this is what I, I do exactly yeah but we had that interesting chat before we started filming about you know would kids today like in their 20s looking at a high performance car want something like this now i i personally think you know there's a lot of other high performance cars out there um today that, like I mentioned earlier, do the do the do the daily driver thing and and the high performance thing both together, and I think that's what kids might be used to today too. Um, this car, I don't know. It seems a bit 
it's probably a little bit old school for them, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, and I mean, more more design maybe at people like us, I suppose, that used to have cars like this and and want want to get back into something. Exactly. Yeah. With all the cur- current comforts, creatures, comforts, and you know, lane assist things, and all the the other stuff that you get with the modern cars, but yeah. having that platform where it brings back those memories, yeah. having the manual gearbox yeah. and the, the clutch and trying to rev match and uh, they're great. Yeah. Love it. Now, mate, you've, you've been driving this thing for a little bit now. Mm. We're in some beautiful twisty roads here. Mm. Give us your impressions. What do you think? Well, firstly, corner entry, the first thing off centre is sensational. Oh, it's really nice. Uh, it's got that really nice sure-footed feeling. Uh, with the brakes are really good as well. What, they're six-pot Brembo's? Six-pot right? Brembo's now, yep, yep. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, just corners like it's on rails. It brings back that that memory I have yep. had in the past where you just, you can enter the corner really nicely and just accelerate out of it with the all-wheel drive. Yep. Now with that, the centre differential, we've got it on auto at the moment, it just makes it really nice. Yeah, that's an STI thing. I think the, the standard WRX doesn't quite get that, but the, no. the STI does. But, you know, some of the added things for the STI for 2018 model year, um, you mentioned the six-pot Brembo brakes are in that yellow, which I think you're a bit iffy about. I like it. You're a bit iffy. Okay. It's bright. <laughs> it's bright. 19-inch wheels. Uh, I think it's got, uh, what have we got? Uh, 245, 35, 19s. Yokohama Advanced Sport V105s. Biggest tyre size, wheel size on a WRX yet. Yep. Yep. Um, so that's probably contributing to how well this thing is just going around corners, isn't it? So. Oh, yeah. And it's, I mean, we're just rolling through. Yeah. Five tenths. Yeah. And it just, it's enjoyable. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. They have um, sort of upgraded the suspension a little bit for uh, this year as well. I think they've um, tweaked the, um, the rear sway bar on, on this thing too, just to give it a bit more um, compliance. But, you know, who cares? <laughs> Sorry, it just goes, doesn't it? So <laughs> this car on this road is really engaging. Yeah, yeah, it is, and the suspension justifies itself. Yep. On this road. Now, mate, the STI comes with a 2.5 boxer four-cylinder turbo above the two-liter that a normal WRX has. Yeah. 221 kilowatts, 6,000 RPM, 407 newton meters, 4,000 RPM. Now. You know, on paper, I suppose, a bit less power than some of the you know, competitors in, in this sort of uh, market. Mm. But what do you think? What do you reckon about the engine? It suits the Australian driving conditions, yep. having a little bit more torque. I know in Japan it's got a two litre, uh, which, is, which revs a lot freer, which is what their target audience enjoys more. Okay. But I, I, I enjoyed the engine when I had it. Um, back in mind, although saying it was a two liter for all you Subaru files, I know it was a two liter, but it, it's a still a good engine. Yeah, it is getting a bit long in the tooth, but the power delivery is good. The gearbox ratios are matched well. Yep. As long as you're driving it for its purpose, I think they've done it. They've continued that tradition very well. Yeah, I, I, I thought it's a little hardcore. I mean. All right, I'm, I must admit, I'm getting older, I'm getting softer. The gearbox in this thing, it, it you know, it really has defined throws, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's not a slick butter through knife sort of gearbox. No um, clutch too, clutch is a little bit heavy um, mm-hmm. for day-to-day driving in traffic and everything like that. But once you get it in its element, it's fine, isn't it? It yeah. is. And it actually, it moulds to that when yeah. that short shift and be able to uh, or the change gears Efficient, efficiently, yeah. but also the pedals are positioned really well for heel and towing. Yeah, no, so yeah, it's you good. can really get into it. And if you're a bit of an old school driver, with the manuals. You yeah, because can you really can't get CVT in one of these. It's it's manual only. Um, mm. The standard WRX you can, but STIs in Australia, six speed manual. Yeah. So, so that setup, the driving setup, the aspect of that when you're on it. Yep. Yeah. It's good. Now the interesting thing I thought is that Subaru, I mean the price on this thing, you know, I, I reckon it's pretty good value for money. The standard STI is uh, list price fifty thousand eight hundred ninety, 
plus uh, three hundred dollars for the um, the rear wing or the um, the towel dryer on the back <laughs> there. <laughs> the one we're in today, mate, we're in the premium version. The premium version is fifty five six forty plus another three hundred bucks for the wing, mm -hmm. but the premium comes with a few, you know. More luxurious features, I suppose. You've got the leather seats, you've got the sunroof, um, eight-speed Harman Kardon sound mm -hmm. system. Um, yeah, the heated seats uh, with me uh, memory, lumbar support. You know, things like that, I suppose. There is a model above this called the Spec R, which is fifty-seven six ninety. But main mm -hmm. difference between this and a Spec R is that you get the um, uh, Recaro seats. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd like the Recaro seats. I think that would be a nice touch. Yeah. Now, it's probably worth noting that this car isn't um, the most modern version of Subaru's sort of global platform that, you know, the Impreza and all that is at the moment. Um, it's yeah. still based on the original um, WRX from a few years back. Yeah. Um, so, therefore, you know, it doesn't have the full suite of, of things that um, the more, you know, current Impreza's have. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you can't get it in this one. Um, the the wonderful Subaru EyeSight safety features, mm. you can only get it in the CVT automatic in the WRX, so it's unavailable in the, the STI being a manual. Um, but you do get a couple of little things like the um, the front vision and side vision, uh, some of the camera in the front of the car, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I've noticed on this car, um, it's probably I'm speaking a little louder at the moment, is that, yeah, NVH, it's pretty hard riding, it's it's loud, the tyre noise, but you know what, I'd forgive it that for because what it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm probably saying it's probably not the ideal family friendly car. Fun, definitely, but family friendly maybe, maybe it's so not. so. Yeah. Yeah. And um, mate, three year unlimited K warranty, but one thing you probably have to note if you're interested in buying one of these things is that um, servicing it's every six months one of these so that can add up a bit so yeah, yeah some of the Subarus actually have a 12 month interval but this one's got the six month interval so. yeah. now mate we might just do our a little um, you know, end bit in the car I suppose you're having too much fun now oh, X Factor yeah. what do you think oh it definitely <laughs> has that in spades <laughs> absolute spades um, turn around and have a second look definitely uh, especially in this color yeah and it's a car that you have to love because there are things there that you have to compromise on so it's one of those love-hate relationships and the love has to outweigh the other yeah uh, the um the the new sort of um styling on the front is very similar to the the current generation of subaru so it does look really really good i think so yeah. that's got a good look there but yeah the thing I've noticed, especially with that rear wing on the back, everybody wants to race you at traffic lights, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah like, it does have that stigma. It's like being 20 again. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. <laughs> Great for once or twice. Yeah, but uh, you, you get sick of that after a while. You do. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's illegal to race on the street, so don't <laughs> yes. encourage that. Don't but also, kids. it's not exactly the fastest in a straight line off the mark either. <laughs> so, yeah, you probably don't want to even bother trying uh, that's good <laughs> <laughs> okay mate so in summary give us your thoughts what do you reckon I think it's a good time warp car uh, it gives you that good feeling of driving if you love driving manuals absolutely spot on in the right driving conditions as you said very compromising in your daily traffic so you have to be aware of that I love it I've I've had well five Subarus so I love the brand the quality it's a great brand, and um, I think I think the heritage. value for money is pretty good too. That you know, like it's it's, yeah. it's 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 up there with you know competitors like I suppose what you know Golf R, um, Focus RS, and things like that. Yeah. But you know, if you want something that's old school, yeah, it's this is definitely old school. It's They've good. done a good job. And that's not that. a bad thing. Exactly. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I do too. Anyway, guys, just want to put a big thank you out to uh, our friends at Subaru Australia for uh, the uh, loan of the uh, STI. And um, big thank you to everybody out for watching us. So thanks very much. We'll check in next time. See ya.